We got Lewis shooting the awesome EF Civic here at Gretty. And then we got the beautiful Pandem FCRX7. What's up guys, Larry Chen here. Welcome to another episode of Hoonigan Autofocus. I got my buddy Kenji here from Gretty. What's up? Hi guys. Thanks for uh, having us today and Thank thanks you. for bringing this thing out. Yes. So this was actually your SEMA car. 2018. From 2018, so we skipped a year, yeah. basically. Uh, I've always wanted to feature this but you know Kenji's super busy he has all these projects going on plus he's doing formula drift stuff so I never actually had a chance to feature this beautiful build but it's just such a groundbreaking thing and it's so cool for me to see people like Mirasan from Panda right. come out with new kits for these old cars mm. so tell us a little bit about how this project came about so this the background of this car um, in early 2018 uh, Mr. Mira and I was talking about what's next, uh, what kind of project, and he threw out, what do you think about ARC-7? Like, hmm, FD, you know, we've done FD already, um, but he's thinking FC. I go, oh, I love FCs. You know, the 80s, 90s. He actually asked us to start looking for a car, and it took us a while to find a clean one, but he said, okay, if you could find a clean one turbo, he'll make a kit and let's make a SEMA car out of it. So, and this is something that we kind of agreed we'll build it and he'll take it back after SEMA, take it back to Japan and take it to Tokyo Auto Salon. So we were commissioned to build this car for him. It was more like a, his personal project, but with a Pandem Gretti collaboration, found the car, super clean. It's an NA, but already had the JDM 13B turbo and JDM transmission swapped already and the chassis was clean it was already white so you know we love a white car uh, if you haven't noticed but uh, luckily it already had Grady turbo kit on there but very old uh, rusted out needed a lot of work so again this one was stripped down to bare ch chassis got it painted inside out and kind of restored it but kind of like the the resto mod he wanted the same look as like the Fugu Z that we did for Song Kang. Strip out the interior and just put bucket seats, roll cage, and no carpet. Under the hood, turbo, performance. This is such a uh, unique look, and yeah. it's so, such a beautiful car. I don't get it. I mean, you've known Mirasan longer than I have. I've had a chance to visit his shop um, at TRA Kyoto, right? right? Um, as he says it. I didn't know TRA stands for Top Resin Art, right? Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, <laughs> top, top Resin Art. So he actually uh, kind of showed me where he started and some of the first uh, pieces that he made, right? right? So it's kind of cool to see his inspiration, but how the heck did he come up with something so cool like this? Yeah. Like, what, what the... When he first sent me the rendering, like, it had like different livery, like purple, yellow, you know, the old school, like a Mazda racing livery type of, you know, uh, design. And with this front end, I'm like, mm, it looks kind of different. I don't know. And then I asked him, oh, can we go all white since the car is all white? And then he sent the rev livery or basically the design with all white. Like, okay, that works. Um, but at, at first it was, it, it took me a while to get used to this front end, but in person it, it works and it has, you know, 
the fenders keeps the line of the FC, but the whole front end, I kind of like the, the rounded FC or original look, but this is, this completely changes it. It's almost like the, uh, what do you call it? It's the like rally. A, yeah, uh, it's like a group B group rally, B car, rally car look. Yeah. Uh, um, but I it kind of ties in to, to the whole, whole car and the line too. So, so yeah, you did a great job on that. For those of you guys who don't know, Marisan is pretty much a computer genius mm -hmm. and he kind of combined that aspect of tuning uh, with actual creating actual body kits. Like he knows what he likes. He yeah. knows the cars that he likes. Uh, and he actually started with Rocket Money. He actually started creating body kits for K cars. Right. Right. And it, it's just so weird that he's evolved yeah. to these kind of things. Plus, I mean, he did that, that Nissan Titan over there. Mm -hmm too so he, right. he can do a little bit of everything and right like the golf gti's to the bmws and porsches and skylines and he's he's doing pretty good like i think you know a lot of the people when they started seeing like the frs body kit and the white oh it's just a trend and it's gonna die eventually but he keeps coming out with new designs like the fc and you know some of the new recent ones and uh he just keeps it going right. and i think because he keeps it going, the, the whole trend of white bodies is just, you know, going stronger than ever. But he's putting different touches onto it to make it more special, like versus just having the over fenders. Right. The fact that he completely redesigned the FC bumper. Yeah, with these and, lights. And you, you basically can't have this kit without the lights. It just doesn't make any sense. Right. Yeah. So... What other pieces? You have the front bumper. Front bumper. You have this the fender, over fender. Side skirts and. And then I like how it kind of ties into that door. Ties right? into the door. Yeah, that's super cool. What a cool feature. Okay, so incorporates the wing that he designed, and then also just this piece right yeah, here to extend the from the side skirt. Okay. Yeah. But the bumper is factory. That's a factory U.S. bumper. Yes. So, appearance-wise, from the outside. Did you guys change anything else? No, it's just pretty much the, the, the Pandem kit and just painted it. Like a lot of the Rocket Bunny and Pandem kit, Mr. Mirror likes it slammed. So you can see how low this car is. Yeah, this is so low. So his request, he wanted this car to sit low at the Toyo tire booth. Yeah. And he wanted to be one of the lowest car. Yeah. So he requested to be about 30, uh, 30 millimeter. Really? That was his request. Oh so to get that ride height, well, basically we can't drive around in this height because right now it's almost this tire, front tires sitting on the, the frame rail. Um, so we do have the KW uh, HLS system to go up an inch and a half um, while we're driving. That's awesome. So that, and that's a hydraulic system, yes. which allows you to raise it yeah. depending on what you need it for. Right, right. Yeah, that is... And even with it full, full, you know, height, it still looked pretty low. So it's still, you know, not and it's on all four corners. Yeah, all four corners. Oh, yeah. Okay. Kato's. That's pretty cool. That's a good alternative to having air. Yeah. Because if you still want to have coilover, mm. but you want it to be as low as possible, that that's actually pretty cool. So right. in essence, it's actually not static. Mm. Yeah. So tell me about the wheels. These look great on this. So this car. is also the uh, PRA Kyoto. People call them the four six wheels that Miss Amira made. I think these are made by Enki. You know, with a lot of the wide body setup, you know, we're forced to put like big spacers, but this one is custom made so that, you know, with that big lip, there's no spacers to match, you know, the, the fender. So it works really good without running like crazy thick spacers. Oh, wow. These are actually forged and made in Japan yeah. by Enki? Mm -hmm. Wow, that is great. It looks really good. So what size are they? Do you remember? Don't remember. <laughs> I mean, how wide is it in the back here? Uh, 290 or 255? Yeah, they're, I think, 10s in the back. Okay. And nine, nine and a half in the front. Oh, yeah. wow. Let's check out the engine bay. Definitely my favorite part of the FC, the hood scoop. Just so cool. Right? So cool. Plus, I love pop-up headlights. Yes. I love the fact that you can transform the look of the car. They already swapped this in, but you, did you rebuild this? No. So we just kept it, uh, it was still in a good condition. The previous owner just got it refreshed. So 
we just kind of trusted that and Mr. Miro didn't want anything crazy. So it's a JDM 13B Turbo 2 motor. Did you uh, have a chance to dyno this at all? No, actually, we're going to. Um, we haven't really got taken it out, only like show SEMA and Weekfest and you know, a few other local shows. So. What do you think it's gonna make? It's about 350, I think. So when we bought this car, it already had this engine swap and then also had the Gretti, old, old Gretti TDO 6 20G turbo kit already on this car. So it actually made it really easy for us to kind of work around this and just refresh the kit. Cast manifold that's on there for turbo cast manifold, that's been discontinued for probably 15 years and it was really rusty. So we took it out, got it ceramic coated and just refreshed it and put brand new TDO5, uh, TDO6 25G turbo on there and just custom made the, the whole intercooler setup. But some of these pipings were original from the, um, the previous kit. I actually kind of look like the look of the old school. Right. I yeah. think it's pretty cool. Yeah, so and and it kind of matches the, the period of the car. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Can we check out the interior? Sure. So the interior is pretty, you know, uh, clean, basic, but uh, Mr. Mira wanted to put in his Pandem carbon fiber bucket seats with the Pandem sport harness. Uh, rest is pretty much original. Everything works. AC used to work, but I think the compressor busted, so we had to replace that. But again, you know, as old guys, we still have to have our AC, so, you know, we kept that. Just needs to be charged. Yeah, he just wanted a clean look with no carpet. Um, there was a lot of stuff here um, that we cut out um, that used to house the factory speaker pods. So all that was cut out and just kind of cleaned up um, the inside right. and got it's, it painted inside out. But it's kind of like that street race car look. Right, right. And you got uh, like a half cage here. That Did you guys put that in? Yes, this was made in house. Ben well did it. I see you guys got a super street cover before they shut down the magazine. Yeah, so that was uh, special. Took that out uh, near um, the Black Canyon trails near uh, out here um, by Ur uh, Irvine Lake. There's a, a pretty good spot. We had a photo shoot. This actually won the best, uh, the Super Street Meguiar's Ultimate uh, Challenge at SEMA in 2018. This was, this is probably one of my favorite um, car that we built at Grady here. It might go to a new owner soon. Oh, but that's the thing is it, to me, is such a groundbreaking build. To rebuild a chassis that's been around for so long, it's, it's, it's almost like it's all old hat. You know, if you told me back in 2017 that you're gonna build an FC, I'm like, okay, well, let's see how different you can make it. Mm -hmm. And now after seeing this, it's pretty incredible. It's pretty much the kit, Mr. Mira and his design. And it just, he just keeps coming out with something that's, you know, groundbreaking, breaking in uh, a unique design. And, but it still keeps the original look of the car. It just makes it more aggressive. Yeah. That's the, you know, in each, each car and each design that he comes up with is different. Even like the new A A90 Supra or the BMWs, like he, it still has a pandem look, but each car is different. So it's not like, oh, there goes another white body pandem kit. It's, you know, I think that makes it, you know, more unique and um, without that, then it's just another FC car that, like you mentioned, and, you know, we're able to do some of the performance upgrade under the hood. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's one of, one of my favorite builds. I see you have the hydraulic lift, uh, the, the tank right. and the pump here. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Wow, I really like this build. Uh, you know, kept it simple and clean. Yeah, and you kept certain things in it mm. that would kind of keep it a straight car. Right. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. Plus, I like that you got that plate. Yeah, I was surprised when it was available. And then this, this tail light again, the rear end of, you know, late 80s, 90s. They're, they're so good. I love it. So this is the JDM taillights then, because they're round? No, these are, these are US um, minor change, I believe. I'm not a rotary guy, and I don't know too much about ARC 7s as much as maybe hurt, but 
And you're running the Grady exhaust. Yes, you? this was a custom one, but we offer these uh, universal system. You could change out the tips, turn down or straight, titanium or stainless, um, three inch piping all the way from the front. We also have a cat on there, you know, rotaries and, you know, cruising down to the tr uh, shows and stuff. Wanted to make sure we're not, you know, stinking up the place. So we still run cats, high flow. It still has that rotary raspy sound, which I love. Cruising in this car is so much fun. I absolutely love it. Everything from the wheels to the suspension. This is like a, a RX-7 built right. Mm. It just has that look. It's, um, it's absolutely wonderful. Can we uh, go for a little spin in it? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. This thing is so cool electronically protected theft deterrent system. <laughs> I love that you have the warning here. Must be up to move the car, <laughs> HLS. That was on the steering wheel before at the show. Uh, but we actually raised it up a little bit since the SEMA show. Uh-huh. Because it was way too low. Oh, this is actually pretty comfortable. These seats are tight, but they're pretty comfortable. Yeah, not too bad. So that's... So it goes in about, goes up about inch, inch and a half. When it's up, it's lit, it's solid red. That's cool. These are wonderful cars and it's, it's crazy to me um, how good condition this one will. We were it's driving excessive. like super stiff clutch earlier yeah. in the Oh, now it's, you're so. not used to it. <laughs> it's already up, so. Uh oh. It still scrapes, huh? Oh my god. We have uh, like a plate on this. Like a skip plate under the front. It's like it's almost like half race car on the street. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Did you wow. Hear compressor surge? There is no mistake about the sound of this car. Like this is like rotary goodness right here. But yeah, the compressor surge, that sounds so good.
hope Mirasan understands how much he's changed tuning culture. Oh, for sure. In the world. Yeah, right. Uh, it, it's so great to see him every single time. You know, he's actually the last time I saw him was at Tokyo Auto Salon this this past one. Yes. And uh, he actually did have a, a FC there too, I think. Yes. Yeah. A Y12, yeah? Yeah, a Y12. Yeah. So and, this was supposed to go back to Japan, but afterwards he said, you know what, just keep it here and then he's going to build another one because he wanted another one, uh, Japanese, you know, right hand drive instead of left hand drive. So ended up staying here and he built another one uh, for Japan. But I think the first one he built was for another friend of his, uh, another shop, which was a yellow one, like a neon yellow, yeah. 2019 Auto Salon. I think he built that. And then he built the white one for 2020 Auto Salon. Just so, it it's really is crazy. Like, and that's kind of the cool thing about it. Who knows, maybe without the internet, it wouldn't have blown up like exactly. it did, you know? And, and because, uh, it's not such a small car community anymore. It's a worldwide community. Yeah. It allows for everyone to kind of enjoy his work. Mm -hmm. And uh, it allows for basically the world to start building these things. Right. Yeah. It's, it's moving out for sure. Yeah, I like that too. I wonder if it sounds different with the window down. defined it's unbelievably defined it's like right next to your ears almost yeah wow i see why you like driving this so much it's a pretty fun car to cruise around yeah. which i don't get to do that often yeah it sits in the garage most of the time and wow. i do take it out and wash it and just it's just great to just stare at it yeah you know? it, it is a work of art yeah. You guys, you guys definitely uh, did something great. Thank you. It's amazing. So, it's a car that you almost want to put it in your living room and just kind of stare at yeah. it. Yeah. Oh my God, the noise that it makes. Uh, that, that is so good. And that's the thing is a lot of people, you know, everyone's talking about the electric car thing. Oh. It's so silly. Because this is a byproduct, you know, it, it doesn't matter if it makes a sound or not, it doesn't make it faster, but as a human being, we enjoy these right. visceral things, right. you know? Right. <laughs> that is so cool that it sounds like that. Really, really good. I feel like it's a quintessential sound of the FC. You know, you, you got, you, you know what a Mustang will sound like. Yeah. You know, you expect a Mustang to sound a certain way or you expect uh, uh, something that's too, too JZ powered to have that right. specific inline six tone. Right. This is exactly what I imagine on an RX-7, yeah. a rotary. Just a street version sounds like. It's just very cr clean, very crisp and uh, very defined. And, and, and I think it's great, I love it. Dude, thank you so thank much you. for showing us this thing. Thank you so much for letting us shoot it. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been such a pleasure to kind of spend the day ag ready. To, it's an honor to have you guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. That's a wrap. <laughs>